One of the most common applications of nanotechnology in consumer products is in sunblock. Now zinc oxide is a very effective ingredient found in sunblocks. What zinc oxide does is it absorbs ultraviolet light that would otherwise be able to get through the skin and cause damage. But in the past, you might have seen people at the beach wearing zinc oxide on their skin, say like lifeguards who have really white noses because of the zinc oxide on their nose. Um, and people don't think that this is really attractive. And so what happens is that people don't put on enough sunblock to protect themselves because they don't like the way it looks. So nanotechnology has advanced sunblock to have the same level of protection without that white nose. And so we're going to compare two products that are available today and see what the difference that's made by nanotechnology is. So I've got two products here that both have zinc oxide in them. One is a standard zinc oxide skin protectment ointment, and the other is a special kind of sunblock that also contains zinc oxide. And I've put a dab of each one of these products onto a piece of black construction paper. The one on my right is a standard zinc oxide, and the one on the left is a zinc oxide sunblock. So I'm going to rub each of these into the black construction paper and see if I can make them disappear. I'm going to start out with the standard zinc oxide and try and rub it into the paper. And I can rub it for a while. And it's rubbed in, but you can see that it's still pretty white. So let's try the other one now. Rub that into the paper as well. In. And after I rub it in, you can see that it's much less visible than the zinc oxide. The reason that the sunblock on the left disappears into the paper is because it contains nanoparticles of zinc oxide. Visible light has a wavelength that's on the nanoscale, but it's about 250 to 800 nanometers in wavelength. These particles of zinc oxide are actually smaller than the wavelength of visible light, but they're still larger than the wavelength of ultraviolet light. So even though you can't see them with your eyes, they're still protecting you against UV light. We can use these images to model what's happening with these two different sunblocks. These two images have white dots on a black background, and the, my, the image on my right, the white dots are a lot easier to see. And you might think it's because it, um, it has more white on it. But in fact, these two images have exactly the same amount of black and white. The difference is that the white is clustered in a larger dot, so each dot reflects more visible light, similar to how macro zinc oxide um, is visible. Whereas in this picture, the white dots are broken up into much smaller pieces, so each dot reflects much less visible light, just like our nano sunblock and so it's a lot harder to tell the individual dots. Now there are many products on the market today that use nanoparticles of zinc oxide, but it's hard for the consumer to know because there are no requirements for the nano sunblock to be labeled that it contains nanoparticles. And how a consumer can tell is by looking at the ingredient list, if it contains ingredients like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, but it, it's also advertised as going on clear or invisible, that means your product likely contains nanoparticles.